Let's take a tour of the Reminder Fox options. We'll select Options from the Status Bar context menu, and here's our Reminder Fox Options page. First one in the Display Preferences, we can uncheck to display them in the Status Bar, and you see now there's no um, text in the Status Bar. You can also select the length of the number of characters that will display in your Status Bar. If you want to keep it short, it defaults to 40 characters to truncate it. We'll set it back. You can also choose whether it opens up to-dos or reminders by default, whether you want um, some additional context menu items on your web browser. The display placement, you can actually change where the reminders will be displayed. Here we've moved it up into the, the uh, title bar. It will show you all of the different toolbars you can select. So you can put the uh, reminder fox status icon anywhere that you're interested in. So you should play around with that just to find where you like it best. You can also change um, the positioning of any of the items. Here we put it back to the status bar. Um, by default it's in always last. Here we've set it to be the first item in that status bar toolbar, that, which puts it over to the left. So play around with those. You should find something you like. Here's the tooltip. Um, you can choose whether you want dis to display reminders or to-dos in there. You can select the number of um, upcoming days to search to display in the toolbar. You can also change the display of the labels in the toolbar. So you can select customize and it will give you a number of, of options and variables you can enter so you can see the, um, the information that you're interested in for the dates. So I like to add the day on there just so I can quickly see what's what's upcoming. So let's take a look at the toolbar again, or the tooltip. And you see now it shows the date, Wednesday, comma, December 23rd, for example. And you can change that for both today and upcoming. Under notifications, you can set some information on when you want the alert slider to show. You can have it show every number of minutes. You can set its height. You can select how long you want to keep the alert slider open for. You can set if you want alarms to be in tabs or separate windows, whether you want sounds to play whenever an alarm pops up, and you can resound it to uh, remind you every so often. You can even select your own um, sound if you're that cool. We'll just use the default. List display, this is going to show um, some options for what you can do in the list. You can select the starting day of the week for the calendar. You can have it show week numbers, uh, which a lot of European calendars do as well as set the size of the calendar. So let's take a look at the calendar we've made at large. You can see now we've got a big old calendar and we've got the week numbers on the side. So as we go through the months you can see the week uh, column updates with which week of the year it is. Uh, we also see if we go to the list that also has the large calendar size as well. So that permeates across all calendars um, provided by Reminder Fox. So let's set that back to, um, we'll try small just so you can see. You can see now it's a, a much smaller calendar. So it's sort of a matter of preference, whatever you're interested in. We'll put it back to the default of medium. Here we can set the date appearance as well as the uh, time style for this is inside the reminder list now. So let's change it to put it, to put it um, we'll have the year slash month slash date which is a pretty uh, standard convention that some people might like. And let's take a look at how that looks in the reminder list now. So bring up the list, and now if you look at the dates, they're in the format that we specified instead of saying um, December 21st, for example. We can also show if we want to show all repeating reminders, including the upcoming and previous occurrences. Now when we go to the list, we see there's a whole bunch of pick up Billy from school. That's pretty much every repeat occurrence of that. By default, that's limited, so it doesn't clutter up your um, list. It only shows you the next uh, repeat instance. Here's some defaults you can set, um, whether you want uh, a repeat to be set for all of your new items that you create. I like to, to um, show alarm pop up by default. You can even set a category that you want all your reminders to have. Um, you can also hide completed items by default if you don't want those cluttering up your list. And you can set some of the filters um, for your list if you'd like to have those. This is interesting. This is 
the more items. You notice there's a little more button in when you add um, a reminder. You can actually hide anything you want into, into, um, or behind that more button. So for example, maybe you don't really like to see the end date or you're not interested in showing the category or the remind until complete. So we can actually move those from the default um, default add list item and it will be hidden behind the more button. So let's take a look. Here we're editing reminder. You see it's there's much less information here. We've just got the start date. We click the more. Now we've got the end date as well as the um, location and some of the other things. So you can play around with that if, if you feel that the uh, the default is too cluttered. I'm just going to reset that back. Okay. The list tab will show you all of your uh, lists that you can create. We're actually going to look at that in another um, video. The file tab lets you um, import and export your reminders. Here we can export our uh, reminders and to-dos. So this is a way that you can back them up or send them to others. We'll just say my reminders gives us a confirmation. We can actually import. You can add to your existing list or overwrite. Um, if you overwrite, it's going to give you, uh, are you super sure? Because that will blast over all of your events. You can also import and export your preferences as well. Network sets some of your network information. Uh, categories, here's all of the categories when we're um, tagging various events. You can delete them, you can add new ones, and you can move them up and down.